Breathe deeply. Breathe with your whole body. Think of the breath going all the way down to the toes. And then hold that perception in mind as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Give the mind an anchor. We live in a world where there are lots of currents flowing in different directions. It's like those locations in the ocean where currents are coming together. And sometimes the south current is strong, sometimes the north current is strong, sometimes the west one is strong. If you get stuck there, pushed around by the currents, you have no idea where you're going to go. But if you find something good, okay, stay anchored there. This is what we do with the, the breath. The breath is our anchor in the present moment. And as long as you hold on to that, then you know when a current is coming. Because all too often we're not even aware, aware that we're being pushed around. A mood comes into the mind and we just go right with it. Because the currents are not only coming from outside, they're also coming from within the mind. The Thai and Johns talk about this a lot. There's the word grisaya, which means current. It also means radio wave. There are waves coming out from other people's minds. And there are currents coming out from other people's minds. And we get pushed around by those too, as well as our own currents inside. So no wonder we're, we're fl floundering. We end up places where we don't really intend to go. So when you find something good, hold on. Breath can come in be comfortably, it can go out comfortably. You know you're in the present moment. It's a good place to stay because you can see clearly what's going on in the mind. If you're off in the past, off in the future, you've lost your frame of reference. You're in a different frame of reference, and it can take you far away. And you don't see what's actually going on. Because even though the thoughts are produced here in the present moment, once you get into the thought, it's like being in a world. Then you accept the coordinates of that world as, as the reality. Whereas if you step back a little bit and say, oh, this is actually a fabrication, the mind is putting this together here in the present moment, and you see how it's done, you can see through a lot of the illusion. That way an unskillful thought comes up and you recognize it as unskillful and you decide, I don't want to go with this. It's going to take me to a place I don't really want to be. A good thought comes up and you can decide whether it's a good thought for right now or some other time. In other words, you're in charge. Your thoughts don't push you around. You're the one who judges your thoughts, makes use of the best ones. There's a lot of meditation where we simply are aware. But there's a lot of the meditation, too, which involves thinking. As the Buddha said, one of the skills you learn is knowing when not to think, knowing what to think, and then thinking only the things that you realize are useful, and putting aside all other thoughts so they don't overcome the mind. So here is your anchor in the present moment. The currents can come, and you know the currents are coming because you're anchored. But at the same time, you can resist them if you realize they're going in the wrong direction. So try to stay grounded right here. And at the very least, you're in a position where you know what's going on in your mind. And as you get better and better in this, you learn how to master what's going on in the mind as well. So the mind, instead of being a big problem, actually becomes a solution to the problem. The problem of why is it that we create so much suffering for ourselves? We all want happiness. We act and speak and think for the sake of happiness. Yet the results often turn out to be the opposite. Why is that? Well, we're not very alert to what we're doing. We don't have a clear idea of cause and effect, what kind of actions lead to what kind of results. But if you have a good, solid place like this to stay inside, you can separate yourself from the currents and then have a clear idea of what kind of thoughts, what kind of actions will actually lead to the kind of happiness you want. And that's when this skill shows its, its real value.